On Wednesday, August 10, 2022, Clyde Inman and I, Larry W. Jones, did a eight-hour hike to Niwot Ridge in the Indian Peaks Wilderness of Colorado. We started at the unmarked Niwot Ridge Spur Trail on the south shore of Long Lake. Niwot Ridge was designated a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve in 1979 and was one of 17 reserves in the United States withdrawn from the program in June 2017. The Niwot Ridge Long-Term Ecological Research Site was established the next year in 1980 as the United States Forest Service Experimental Ecology Reserve. The site is characterized by extensive alpine tundra, a variety of glacial landforms, glacial lakes, and permafrost, and is home of the Arikaree Glacier just below the 13,150-foot Arikaree Peak. The site is little influenced by human impact and is thus an excellent site to monitor biological chemical and physical responses to changes in atmospheric chemistry and climate. The site is administered cooperatively by the U.S. Forest Service and the University of Colorado Boulder's Institute of Arctic and Alpine Research for experimental and long-term studies of alpine tundra. The Niwot Ridge Trail is simply spectacular. The view from the top of Niwot Ridge has to be one of the best views of the Indian peaks that you can get. It's an interesting view because you are almost eye level with the peaks. This makes for a unique and inspiring view of the Continental Divide and the Sawtooth Ridge above Isabel Glacier. From the Niwot Ridge Spur Trail at Long Lake and the Indian Peaks Wilderness Boundary, the Jean Luling Trail takes you over a short section of boardwalks. To your left, you'll see an unsigned but obvious single track trail heading south into the forest. This is the Niwot Ridge Spur Trail. The first mile or so of switchbacks goes up through pine, spruce, and finally barren old bristlecone pine trees. Once we gained the lower ridge, we hiked over open tundra and scrub oak stands until we reached a small pass with left-hand reservoir off to the east. From there, we continued on the spur trail until we reach the main four-wheel Jeep service road, which goes along the top of Niwot Ridge. This ridge is meant to service the various research stations located on Niwot Ridge, which are part of a biosphere reserve. The road climbs steadily along the southern edge of Niwot Ridge, where Kiowa Peak reaches its 13,200 and 76 foot presence. Along the south side of Niwot Ridge are located Albion Lake Reservoir and the five Green Lakes. The valley is called Green Lake Valley. At the west end of the valley is Arikari Peak and Arikari Glacier, the source of South Boulder Creek. We continued hiking up past various stations until we reached a level area with a large stone cairn which marked the end of the Niwot Ridge Trail. This spot is amazing and either way you look you'll be rewarded with tremendous views of places like Lake Isabel, Isabel Glacier, Shoshone Peak, Apache Peak, and Navajo Peak all linked together by the Sawtooth Ridge of the Continental Divide. The best thing about this hike is that it is relative, relatively unknown. 
Uh, there are throngs of people at Brainerd Lake, Long Lake, and Blue Lake. There will be almost no one on Nawat Ridge. We return to Long Lake via the Nawat Ridge Fur Trail, ending the 12 miles, eight hour hike at 3 p.m. Our elevation at the top of Nawat Ridge was 13,023 feet. So our total elevation gain during the constant uphill hike was 2,500 23 feet. This is one of the most spectacular uh, hikes that I or Clyde or any of our other Rat Pack hikers have been on. Ooh.